and I'm doing a tutorial video for you guys today. Yay! First tutorial! I have fur in my mouth. Um, so today we're going to be learning how to use the foam head base method that I use to make my heads and many other furry fursuit makers do. Um, in order to make Grackleby, a, a Grackleby plush pattern, we are going to be learning today how to use foam uh, to make us some plush pattern. Yay! Now guys, I know how hard and I know I understand your struggle on making plush patterns that look nice. You just want to make a cute plushie of your Sona so that you can cuddle it at night as you're, you're crying yourself to sleep because life sucks, guys. Um, so, I'm going to show you how to use a foam and I am actually going to be making a Grackleby plush pattern. Now this is not something that you guys are allowed to do. The Grackleby part. Because I'm a mod of the species and I've been given permission to do this. But for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna use that in order to show you guys how to do this. And even though I've not really done this with, you know, plushies before, I have enough experience with the head beast thing just do it and I mean come on guys this will be fun you can see my first attempt excuse the messy lavender fur of Toby the fur I got lavender fur it's always been messy it always will be messy but I'm adorable and it, it got the job done so who cares right I mean I'm cute right like, Toby's cute. Boop. Yeah. Anyways, we're going to be doing this. And this is going to be fun. And I'll show you guys later. I'll, like, tweet it out and post it on Amino and stuff. The results of my pattern. What should I make? I already have a plan. So it's cool. The supplies you're going to need for this project are foams of different thicknesses. One inch foam is really good and even this, I'm not sure what this is, but I found it in Walmart. It's basically kind of foam that you iron on. It's got an iron on backing. The next thing you're going to need is a hot glue gun, of course, to get as much of your glue. Okay, so for the end of this project and the beginning of this project, actually, you're going to be wanting some black markers. I chose, you know, permanent Sharpies. Duct tape. You are going to want duct tape. Another thing you might want to get is a nice tape measure, like one of those ones that tailors use, seamstresses use. What are the most important tools for this project that you are going to need throughout the project is a pair of scissors and an X-Acto knife. Now, the X-Acto knife, you don't need it necessarily for carving. You need it more for when you are taking off the tape when you make your pattern. Last but not least, paper. Oh yeah, shout out to my friend Sprigget. He's a YouTuber. You guys may know him. He helped me out so much with the preparation for this video. You're going to want... Now, I have a digital reference here. 
of what I want to make. This is Grackleby. I don't know if you've heard of them, but I'm a moderator of the species. We're on Amino. And we have a website. Just Google Grackleby. Um, it'll be... It, I'll link things in the description, okay, guys? But have a reference of some sort. I really recommend having a reference of some sort of what you want to make. This was made by the species owner. It's a sort of anatomy sheet. Okay, dokie, guys. So, I have somewhere to be later. Um, so this video is going to be cut off a little bit. My clothes might change a little bit. Uh, later on because I have youth group to go to later and I don't want to miss that but I'll come back and I'll finish the video and this should be uploaded by Saturday this week so the first thing you're going to want to do basically my friend sent me a message we made a painting I can't really pay much attention to that right now, though, because I'm shooting a video, okay? Um, right, get your reference out, like I showed you, Rock will be referenced by Mia. Shout out to Mia the Bat, she's awesome. Um, you're gonna want to look at your reference, and you're gonna think, hmm, where should I start? Where do you guys normally start when you're drawing something? That's gonna be key here. Um, actually, I normally start with the head, but we're gonna start with the body because, um, well, I hope I hope you'll understand what we're doing. This. I'm gonna use this one. I usually use this for faces, but I can get more, um, like muzzles, but metal. Um, I have an example to show you. <laughs> Simplest. I use it for this part. You see this kind of yellow stuff? I use it for the middle. And that just gives me a better shape overall for head bases. And I might do a tutorial on head bases if you want me to sometime. But that's not what we're doing today. Okay, so I decided to make it smaller. I felt like it was going to be too big still. Uh, I used felt with paper, and then I drew it on the other side, and trimmed it down, and now I'm trying to get this, the rest of the leg to stick, which is not working very well at all, but it's coming along. I recommend actually, quite honestly, going along and just um, draw something, like a base to trace on to your phone, because quite honestly I should have started like this, because it just, it, it helps, and if, sometimes you can make things bigger than you want to, and it's helpful if you just draw it on paper first to keep the size down. So, yeah, I'm trying to get this to stick, it's just not sticking the way I want to. So, I've done more to the legs, I widened it out here and managed to get it to stay by using this thin foam. And I used three layers of it here, after the lead up in the middle here, to build it out. I might like, I don't think I'm going to go all the way with the pattern this way. I might go shorter in some areas to help contour the body even better, but I think it's going well, at least in terms of the legs. Eventually I'll spend some time making foot with the toes. Actually this is really good that I'm doing this with the foam base because 
the big raptor claw toe is going to need some special consideration just to look right and I mean look at this look at how it's standing that's good I mean it's a little tall I think I accidentally made it taller than I was supposed to because there's this line but you know and I can break that down but yeah and I mean compare it with this guy I mean it's right on there when it comes to size maybe a little bigger but I mean my ray plushies I think are a little bit bigger than this so yeah maybe I'll do more plushies like this like say a circle sometime maybe you guys will see a little bit of maybe a time lapse thing of making a circle pattern someday when I have a better camera My exacto knife keeps going missing. You pass that life. Ah! Okay, so I did the head. And I started with this very simple circular shape. And I, I just kind of used this to help stabilize it, keep it on there, because it was like. It was like nearly headless Nick and Harry Potter just tilting off. So, I used that. And then I made a really tiny beak because I, I didn't have time, room when I was making the pattern on paper. And also, um, I just felt like I needed to make a separate one. So, here's this. I, I mean, you use two inch foam. You don't really want to use that for the the beak so anyways there's that and I just did this shape and I did the hook of it and went inwards and then just did a tiny kind of shin so guys I finished it um I did an arm and I did the tail which was really quick I'm not gonna do a thumb for the paw just cause it's hard guys and I mean, it's cute I hope you was gonna understand but yeah it's good so tomorrow I can do the patterns and there's video yay Hello. Okie dokie. So, as you can see, I finished the vase and I'm in my suit again. And I'm going to be showing you how to just do the pattern. I might try this in the suit just to see how it goes. I can't really see. Which one's smaller? Okay. M. Oh. So. I'm just going to show you how to start. And then I'll come back when I'm finished. And show you a little bit of this drawing things and stuff if you're covering things up with fabric to reinforce it like I am just be careful you can mess things up if you aren't taping right just take a place that the piece of tape fits sometimes you'll need smaller pieces and sometimes you'll need bigger pieces I'm not panty for any particular reason, by the way, guys. I promise I'm fine. I'm 
go, yeah, you basically just cover the whole thing in tape. If you're doing it mirrored like I am, I mean, you might want to go over a little bit and then just draw a middle line along where you're going to go. But, yeah. Okie dokie, so I've covered the whole entire thing in duct tape. As you can see, lots of crisscrossing stuff. Some long pieces. These edges are weird because I uh, didn't use scissors, I ripped them. But basically getting in the little tiny areas. Okay, now I messed things up. Um. Try not to mess things up like I just did. And even like right here, I've gotten in with it. Uh, there we go, see? So yeah. Now, you ask, how am I meant to do the patterns for this? So you're gonna get a sharpie and then you use the thin one for some parts. And you're gonna start, you're gonna look at your character. You might want to look up like typical places to put themes. Maybe look at a stuffed animal and be like, where are the themes there? And follow that. That helps. So I'm gonna do a theme around the shoulder and the armpit. Whoops. This is really awkward guys. <laughs> um a lot of plushies with like flat feet will do a just around the bottom the bottom piece. around here I'm not adding stuff to this because when you have thin foam tape will destroy it like a lot of plushies around the muzzles they will have like, like a piece that will go like this right down the middle and the top and I'm actually gonna because this is a grackle bee. Go down a bit. And that's gonna be what the main goes. We'll have one separating the head and the neck area. And so on. So I'll come back and I'll show you what this guy looks like, guys. Alright, so. I've done the patterns. It's a good idea to label them. I used the thin marker and then I made the lines more final with the thicker marker. Um, so, yeah. This, it's a really good idea to label your patterns so you know what you're doing better. And, there we go. Now all you have to do is take in the exacto knife and go along these lines and you know take it off piece by piece put it down on some paper like I have over there and you know add a little seam allowance if you want to I'm not going to tell you how thick because it depends on who's sewing it but yeah Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Didn't get to see much of my face throughout this. That's okay. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie with mints and 
Actually, my shirt underneath is meant to. So, totally good for Toby. Uh, I hope you guys liked it. I made this specifically for my Grackopee community members and the mods. But overall, the stitch is good for anyone. I'm tired and hot, so I'm panting. I didn't really bother to uh, fix my neck very much. But I think I'm gonna wear this uh, beanie on my ear pretty often. It's cozy. Um, so, bye! Thanks! I forgot. Thanks for watching! Uh, like, subscribe if you want to. And I just hope you like the video and I mean if they get views. Cool. Bye. Shout out to my tail.